Hey everybody, you're watching me, Lenny Lynn, and I am just wanting to do this video today because it is about a topic, as you done read, that I am kind of, sort of, uncomfortable with, but I have just felt like I think that my journey so far with my skincare journey can actually benefit someone and can actually, actually help me become more comfortable with myself as an individual and a young adult. But what I'm talking about today is my skin. Now I'm about to insert some pictures into this video as we speak right now and before my pictures start the rolling on I just want to say viewer destruction advice. That's mainly because these pictures I was very uncomfortable with so here they go. So yeah, now as you done saw in those photos, my skin went bonkers. Now this happened a few weeks ago, I had decided to take the um, fish oil actually while I was also taking the Nature Bounty Hair Skin and Nail Gummies, bad, bad combination for me anyways and my skin went berserk. Now I also do have hormonal acne. So from having a hormonal acne and from just taking the fish oil, also trying to cure my skin, which the Nature Bounty Hair Skin and Nail Gummies did not do. It just gave me this, you know, glow or whatever. It did not, you know, help me balance out my acne at all, mainly just my oil, like my oiliness in my T-zone. But other than that, I was like... Lie. So, so I was just upset with me. I was upset with me. I was upset with the choice that I made. But from that choice I made from taking the fish oil, it led me to actually going on eBay, finding some type of acne medication because right now, you know, for financial issues and financial sake, a girl just don't have the time to go to the dermatologist. So, what I decided to do was just purchase me some sulfur. Now, sulfur, as you guys probably don't know, I will just, if you don't know, I'm just going to insert um, some text about sulfur so you guys can read and see for yourselves because I don't want to say anything wrong about sulfur and someone says, oh, da, 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 da. but here it goes. So yeah, sulfur is amazing. Now if you're someone who suffers from hormonal acne, you suffer from scabies in the face, rashes in the face, you're just fighting a unfought battle by yourself, you eat right, you do everything else right, and your skin is still going bonkers, yeah, sulfur is for you. So I went on um, eBay, I picked up the Daylight Cruise Sulfur Ointment. And I had this for now a week and a half and when I tell you it works amazing it seriously does this is how it looks inside automatically when you open it up you are hit with the sulfur smell if you ever use sulfur 8 on your scalp or um, ever smelt it you would know what I'm talking about it's that sulfur smell I don't think it's anything too you know disgusting but I mean if you're not into you know just kind of like not of what well, herbally smells you may not be into sulfur but um this is also the sulfur soap with a uh, lan with lanolin lanolin i don't know y'all i'm not about to embarrass myself but this is the sulfur soap and this is what it looks like So yeah, you get a nice big bar, fits in my palm of my hand really nicely. And all of this, both of these together cost me like 14 bucks. So 
yeah it was a good deal now when applying this uh, I got the software treatment first so when I got my ointment I went to town I put it on my face I rubbed it in my acne was also a little bit more lighter like it wasn't so bumpy ish it was just like black headish and still bumpy ish so I applied this on my face and here's the photo that's the photo of me already having the sulfur ointment treatment on my face now lord i can tell you that my face did burn and then after washing it off after 10 minutes i rinsed it off with some lukewarm water that's just mainly because i have a very sensitive skin I rinsed it off and automatically I noticed that the bumps I had on like the left side of my cheek and the right side of my cheek were like coming up like ready to pop like it was no joke so I had to pop those bumps and y'all know how it is when your pop was dead all the nastiness came out of them and I was just like okay hmm so day two came around um I did not notice any drying like my face was like what's up yeah I'm ready for more so day two day three day four day four came and I had got my soap in the mail so I think it was already here but I didn't know it was at my apartment so anyways I got my soap I started using the soap first for 10 minutes used the ointment for 10 minutes and all of a sudden it was like my face started to like dry now it wasn't like a bad bad drying sensation but what happened was it was like I didn't realize my skin was my skin was actually peeling so if you have any discoloration on your face this these bad boys in a conjunction will start peeling your uh blackheads away like let's say you have a blackhead scar now you have an acne scar the skin is automatically going to start like peeling away so I just was like peeling and it was peeling so bad to where I had to put Vaseline on my face in order to fight the peeling throughout the day because if I apply my ponds during the morning hours before I go to school by the end probably like around 11 ish my skin is starting to like peel at my chin area because it was just horrible down here and it was horrible on my right side of my cheek it was all right up here but my forehead it, it was still bumping too so it was just like automatically starting to just shed all the dead skin was coming off all the old acne scarring it was just coming off I accidentally had rubbed my face like um with my jacket and I actually had like a dry skin coming you know on my jacket when I looked at it I was like oh my god had to run to the bathroom had to put Vaseline on my face it was that atrocious but as y'all see this is me with little to no makeup on I have no foundation on whatsoever and this is my face now I do have like a little bit of a rash like right here and like the sulfur made it worse a little bit because I was just still going strong with it. So now I'm just using my Clean and Clear Essentials Forming Facial Cleanser until um until I can like get my rashes down. And when I use that, I use my little um exfoliator I got from eBay too. So until I get my rashes down, that is what it is. Sorry for the lighting, but this is my chin now. I don't have any bumps, like none at all. It's been a week and a half, no acne bumps. And this is the side of my face. I still have like scarring going on. Um, these are not bumps at all, y'all. I'm just, I want to just be real with y'all. So yeah. And no, my rashes does not burn or anything. I had a rash right here, a scab, scaby, whatever they call it. And my forehead is not bumping. And neither like the top of my lip. So the sulfur does work. It started to like actually work day three. I noticed my skin. So 
now I'm about to probably get back into bleaching, um, getting these dark spots away, probably using shea butter or back to my black and white bleaching cream. So I might have an updated video on that if I do choose to do that. But I did want to come and do this video for y'all because I know a lot of people that are dealing with hormonal acne. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to use. And I guarantee you that this will have your hormonal acne gone. I recommend now just using this like probably two or three times a week because every day is a little bit obsessive and your skin will actually peel off even more and you may even break out with rashes because if you have sensitive skin it might just do that but I was also taking a yogi detox tea and my skin detox and at the same time was you know interfering with these two and that's why I have this rash in my face so it's not from the products I'm letting y'all know now it's from all the bad out an eight that just is coming out so anywho yeah y'all this is my hair um kind of like a fail wash and go but i just decided to just do this do this you know for y'all but anywho y'all i am just thankful i did this video i'm very thankful this is like probably the first time i done did something so epic something just so daring sharing y'all my skin and i know a lot of y'all done pointed it out already in past videos so this is just like something i feel like i have to keep it real with y'all on like nature bounty has skin and nail gummies is not going to fight your acne you have to go out there and buy something go to a dermatologist and get your acne together did it make my acne worse no it just was just making my face glow um it didn't really help with the oiliness too much i mean i was still oily in my t-zone i still am but i mean it is what it is it's mainly for my you know my hair and my nails as far as i'm concerned and the rest of my body is doing fine i don't have acne or else on me so hmm, who knows i don't know y'all but anyways i'm out of here if y'all want to contact me feel free to email me my email will be in the description box below any information that you're looking for will be in the description box below if y'all want to talk to me about y'all experiences with acne or y'all want to just talk to me about my acne and stuff like that i do drink good water i drink orzoka whatever it's called and i drink like four to five water bottles a day i drink over 64 ounces a day so it's not that y'all i'm just you know hormonal <laughs> and no i'm not on birth control so don't even come with me at that but anyways i'm out of here y'all feel free to like and comment to this video i am out of here subscribe because i'm open to new subscribers and keeping you all happy and just share my love share my love with all of y'all all of my brothers and sisters from different mothers fathers in different continents and different places across the world you heard me i'm out of here y'all thanks so much bye